Boy, how time flies. It has been a long week, month, year, lifetime. Maybe not a long lifetime, because that's the longest thing you'll ever do. But as you see, I have questions, and I'm sure you have questions, but I'm here to answer my own question. What is yellow? What's mustard yellow? And more importantly, what is transparent yellow? My question, at least, will be answered today because I did get the Twisby transparent yellow. Um, had it since uh, a few days ago, but didn't have time to do a video. And of course, I'm pretty sure y'all like to see this as much as I like watching pin videos. So wanted to crack it open and answer that question. What is transparent yellow? Okay, don't need that. That's going straight for the equipment needed. So of course, this is the Twisby transparent yellow. Well, Seems how I thought it would look. But I think I need to get even more scientific. What is this? Like a highlighter? Um, neon kind of highlighter? See-through? Let me take the cap off. Maybe it will come up a little bit better. Or white piece of paper actually probably will help me grab while i'm grabbing that paper let's look at the science i have magically located things to compare the pigment of yellow to come all right now let's get to the science part you know now this one might get a little bit messy so i put it on a separate piece of paper um i did purchase regular american yellow mustard as well as a Chinese spicy mustard because someone did mention uh, to me in a past video that the mustard yellow is Chinese mustard not brown mustard since you know of course as you can see it's almost virtually the same um, but I think the unique thing is these mustards literally are the same color and they both match that Twisby mustard I even kind of swabbed them but I think y'all kind of get the picture. I don't want to get them too close to the pens because, you know, trying not to have a situation, but we'll try to move it up and down so you can get a better look. All right. Next, just some colored crowns. We have yellow and we have dandelion. Those are the two yellows in the box of 24, the regular set. Uh, coincidentally, yep, yellow, Twisby yellow looks like yellow. Twisby mustard looks more like the dandelion. And that transparent, of course, that's kind of going to be in the middle. I wish I had a highlighter um, because I think this one would kind of be more represent a highlighter. All right, and ooh, next was uh, the yellow M&Ms, but somehow those have gotten eaten off camera by someone else. But I'm the only one here recording, so who knows who that someone else is. But we will do uh, the comparison to the Mario question mark, the random yellow object, as well as a, another piece of candy that will disappear shortly. Um, as you can see for these found object yellows, you know, kind of can base off what colors we're dealing with here. Going to move those to the, we're going to move that this way. Yes, come to me. Uh, next will be the banana flesh or the banana skin. I think we can get a good comparison there. And let's get down to that banana meat. There we go. 
and not to worry. This shall be consumed later. And I think that's all I have because I did eat those. I mean, someone ate those M&Ms. So unfortunately, couldn't do that comparison. Um, but hopefully this will kind of give you a better representation of the deepness or the richness of the yellows. Let me even just kind of remove the caps because I think that would be even a little bit more helpful maybe to look at the tops of them. Because I do know when you see these pictures online, it's really hard to tell. But yeah, for this transparent yellow, I would say it's more like a highlighter. Um, but because it's such a light color, it looks a little strange. But of course, I do want to bring our other transparents in the game. So I will take them off of their pen as well. This is the yellow compared to the orange as far as the transparency. Of course, we have the green as well. Blue. And purple. I didn't want to pre-take these off because, of course, you know, didn't want my pens drying out. So definitely please uh, forgive the time it takes to kind of get these, I guess, together. But this is the yellow and the transparent purple. Yellow and just regular transparent. So you can definitely see, even though it's a light color, it definitely is different. We already did the orange, so yellow and blue, which I think these go really well together. Probably the purple also to be a good kind of trio to carry. Yellow and green, not too bad either, but getting Slytherin vibes. But yeah, I think if I had to carry three transparents, I think I would do this trio. I think that would look really nice. I already did kind of a comparison with the yellow green, but I'll kind of bring it back. So this is the yellow green Eco Tea. Um, it's looking a little bit more yellow on camera, probably because it's next to this yellow cap, but it is almost like a, it's literally a yellow green or like a kind of olive yellow. I hope that helps you decide if uh, the transparent yellow is something you want to pick up. Um, I did pick up two of them just because I wanted one as a backup and you know sometimes I have plans for the future so should I want to you know maybe create something else I did want that option. Um, what I will say is if you're going to get one get one now you know these things run out in a few months get them while they're plentiful and in stock if i have to carry this transparent yeah it definitely would be this trio um however i can see doing it with a uh, lime green and i'm not sure if i would do it with pink oh uh, that pink might be too dark for me but I think this is a kind of unusual pairing that looks really good together. And because I guess I had a brain uh, heart attack, what's it, a stroke, I guess. Totally forgot about the Blossom Red transparent. So we'll look at that real quick. Actually, I think this would be a good carry duo as well. Alrighty, so coming to an end, uh, since in the beginning I did have my conspiracy that the Twisby Yellow, when it was made, they had extra yellow pigment. Someone forgot about it for months and months. Then later on down the line, they found that uh, extra cases and cases of pigment for yellow and they decided to make the 
mustard yellow, but kind of tinted differently. So instead of a re-release, they were like a whole new color with their leftover yellow. They had leftover mustard green, so decided to make a transparent yellow. But looking at this, I don't think that's true and that's too long to make an excuse if that makes sense because this almost completes the um rainbow if you recall from art class uh remembering the colors as roy g biv which would stand for red orange yellow green blue indigo violet um so we are missing the violet assuming the purple takes the place of the indigo and of course they just have the regular clear transparent um love that i have this collection i will say it does not show up on camera but the yellow on top of the black it kind of makes that black um innards look like it has like a green hue to me for some reason uh but it's kind of like if you put transparent you know yellow under anything it's going to kind of take on a new color since yellow is so easy to mix uh, if that makes sense. Like all these other ones, I can clearly tell the part inside of it is black, but this one looks uh, greenish. Of course, the camera is trying to make me out to be a liar because you probably cannot see those details, which is why I tried to bring the light closer and put it on white paper. But there are some things that my phone camera will not pick up. So you'll have to trust me or buy your own. And uh, let me know that uh, my sanity is still here. Um, I hope you definitely enjoyed this video. Uh, next time I probably want to do an update on my collection of the Ecos and Eco Tees since I've already highlighted my rose golds in the last video. Um, hope this also helped get some clarification on the shades of yellow because pictures do not do the pen justice and especially with the filters we have nowadays. Uh, so you really do kind of have to compare it to everyday objects and next to each other. So hopefully this was useful to someone. I'm going to go eat my banana and Butterfinger. So y'all have a good evening. And you know what? Go ahead and get yourself a snack as well. Bye.